in the previous class we have seen how to do the addition of decimal fraction and how to do the subtraction of decimal fraction and even we have seen the problem of simplification that is both addition and subtraction together. So in today's class let us discuss about the other operations of numbers that is addition and subtraction uh, sorry in multiplication and division. So first I have taken multiplication by 10, 100 and 1000. When you are multiplying the numbers by 10, 100 and 1000, how can we do this? This is all very simple one you have done right from your third standard, but this has been the basics we have learned this. So when we are taking this, that is 3.2985 into 10. So how will you multiply this? This is very easy. So since it is multiplied by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. Because anything multiplied by 0 gives you what? 0. So the next number will come with multiplication, the very first number. Then 1 5 is a 5. 1 8 is a 8. 1 9 is a 9. 1 2 is a 2. 1 3 is a 3. So we have 0, 5, 8, 9, 2, 3. That's all. Now we have to take a decimal. Decimal number after how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4. After 4 numbers there is a decimal point. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to That is 32.9850 is the answer. Understand? So that is your also you need to multiply the same thing. But one more thing we need to learn in the decimal function is look at here. This is the same number I am taking. That is 3.2985. 3 I have already multiplied by 10. And what is this as an answer? Now, answer is same. So, if you multiply through 100 also, it is 3, 2, 9, 8, 5, 0. This will be the answer. But where to shift the decimal point? This is it. When you are multiplying by 10, decimal point has moved right side 1 point. That is how it is in 32 point before it was 3 point. So when you are multiplying with 100, the decimal point will shift 2 digits since it is in 100. And so now it will be after 2 digits in the sense 329.850 before it was 32 point. The same way when you are multiplying with 1000, write the answer same. That is 329. Uh, 3, sorry, 329, 3298850. Now tell me where should I keep Since it is thousand, already the point is here. So it should be how many 3, 1, 2, 3. Therefore, 1, 2, 3 means it is 3218.50. If you want to multiply a check, you will get the same answer. Understand? So we can do in this way when it is in the decimal fractions when you are multiplying by 10, 100 and 1000. It is just shifting the numbers. It is a any number let me For example, any number you take other than this. For example, let me take this as 4.7795. When you are multiplying with 100 and 3. Just take it. So now what happens? Since you are multiplying with 100, obviously what? We need not multiply with C. By a common sense we use that, it will shift, this point shift two times. So that becomes 477.95. You can do it directly. Understand? So I hope you have understood when it is given with 10, 100 and 1000, how you have to multiply. Now we will go for the next one. That is multiplication by whole number. When you are multiplying one decimal number and one whole number, how to multiply this? Let us see. This is a very simple way. 6 3s are how much? 18. 8 carry 1. 6 0 0 carries 1. So, since decimal number after 1, it is 1 point. Simple problem. Next, I have this. One more, let me show you this. So, 8 6s are how much? 48. 4 carry. 8 2s are 16. 16 plus 4, 20. 0 2. So, it is 1 so 1 6 are 6, 1 2 are 2, 1 0 are 0. Okay. In 8, I have 6, 4, I have 0. Now after how many digits I need to keep a point? 1, 2, that is 1. 
So it is we have 4.68. 4 4.6. You already know how to do this. This again we will repeat. Next, you see this thing also you know that. What we are doing here, see already in the first way, first way we did multiplication by 10 and 100,000. By multiplying with only 10 and 100,000 numbers. Next, you learn how to multiply decimal and whole number. Understand? Now we want to learn to multiply decimal and under decimal number. Both decimal numbers, if you get how to multiply it. So I will take this number as 0 0.004 into 0 0.2. So we will multiply 4 to the 8, then this is 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. So, so we have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now where is the keep a decimal point? So to keep a decimal point, 1, 2, 3, 3 numbers. Here also you need to consider 3 plus 1, 4. See here after one number, 1, 2, 3, 4. After here, Towards your left hand side, you have 3. After 3 numbers, point here after 1 point. You should add that both 3 plus 1, 4. So after that, I will keep point 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer is 0, 0.0008. 0, 0, 0, Understand how to do the multiplication? One way will be multiplication by 10, 100, and 1000. Next will be multiplication by the whole number 18 and 6. Next will be one multiplication. Decimal into decimal number. Both when you get a decimal number, so you can multiply in this. So I hope multiplication can be understood. So you can start with the exercise and do that. What are the problems you are having? Now we will go to the what you mean division. Now we will have division as in the case of multiplication. How we did first we did multiply with 10, 100, and 1000. Then multiplication by a whole number. Then division by both decimal numbers. In the same thing, we are going to do in the case of division. First we have division by 10 and 100,000. This is also we can do easily like a multiplication. Remember the multiplication how we did? We were shifting the numbers towards right side. Towards right side. Now we have to shift the numbers towards left side. That is 623.42 divided by 10. So when you see 10, 10, even decimal point shift towards your left side in the case of division towards right side in the case of multiplication remember this it's help you it saves your time always so we know that now it becomes 62.342 understand now we have 100 when you do the division with 100 you can do it directly how when you divide with 100 this point shift two digits after Left side, towards the left side, 6 to 0. So I can write directly as 6.234. Understand? See how easy it is. Don't do the division when you get 10, 100, and 1000 here. Easily you can do it. You can attack a problem. Now we have 1000. So what happens? This shifts after 3 digits 1, 2, 3. So it becomes 0 0.6. 2, 3, 4, 2. See, you understand. Very, very easy. If you want to put 10,000, what happens? If you want to put, for example, this is 10,000, then it becomes 0 0.062342. So, always in division, the decimal point shifts left, shift, uh, shifts towards left side. When you are doing a multiplication, the decimal point shifts towards the left side. We will get even multiplication now in some problem. I will show you how it is. Next, we have division by the whole number. This division we can do two methods. One method I will show you now. So we have 16.952 divided by 8. So 8 2s are 16. 0. There is a point, keep a point after that. You can do it this way. Bring 9. Right, so 8 ones are 8. So remainder is 1. Again, you will 5. So again, 8 ones are 8. Because 8 ones are 16, you can't go for that. Next, I have what do you mean by uh, 7. Sorry. Uh -huh. 7. Okay, next, you bring 72. So 8 ones are 9 ones are how much? 72. I have what an answer? 2.1. This I can do when you have one more number with decimal number. 
you can follow this step. And if you might have done, you have done it in the sixth standard only, the fifth standard only, you are doing this. So same way, I will be repeating you. Next, we have one more method that is division of decimal number here and the decimal number. Here we have to think of it. How to do this? So we have here. So we have here. 4.8 divided by 0 0.8. When you are doing a division with 10, 100,000, you will follow this way. Directly you can do without doing a division. When you are doing with the whole number also, this is an easy method. But now what you will do in the case of both, uh, what you mean by decimal numbers? Here, we should always see the denominator. In a denominator, after a point there are how many numbers? One number. Then multiply it by 10. After a decimal, if it is two numbers, multiply by 100. After a decimal, if it is three numbers, multiply by 1000. Like that. Understand? You have to do this problem. Always we should, should see denominator only. So, after in the denominator, after the decimal, we have one number. So, multiply by 10. The same thing you have to multiply for the numerator also. Now, apply your brain in multiplication. 4.8 into 10. What it will give you? When you are multiplying with 10, this decimal number shifts so much. Left side or right side? The multiplication it shifts always towards right side. So it will become a okay. This 0 0.8 into 10 shifts left side. So it is 8. 8 ones are? Uh, 8 ones are probably? 8 6 are? 8 6 is the answer. See how easy. But I have taken one variety of problem again. Now tell me that how to do it. 5.625 divided by 1.25. See, in numerator we have after decimal three numbers. In denominator we have two numbers. So what you will do? Always we should take denominator as a point. Now after a decimal we have two numbers. So multiply with 100. That only you have to multiply in numerator also. In numerator after decimal there are three numbers. But you should not go with thousand. Whatever you are doing in the denominator, the same thing you have to do. So now, look at here. Since two zeros, point shift two, so it becomes point six six two point five five. This becomes two means it becomes one twenty five shifts. Now we have done in this way. We have got five six six two point five five one twenty five. Right. Now we can attempt the division in this way. Right, we can attempt to division in this way. Like uh, where I have just mean here, since I have more place there. I have 562. 0.5 divided by I have 125. So 125, how much I can take? 125 for the is 20. For those are 8 plus 2 and 5. For those are 4 plus 1, 5. Yes, we can take this. For so how much? 500. 62 is the remainder. Now, to bring the point down, I need to keep a point here. Five. So, 125 5 is how much? 625. See, that becomes an answer of 4 point. Understand how to do this? Attempt a problem. Watch the video properly. See the steps I have. Same way when 